Well, as the snow starts to melt off the ground, construction season will soon be underway. One large project taking over Brainerd will be the reconstruction of South 6th Street. Sarah Winkleman joins us live in the Brainerd studio with more. Sarah? Yeah, Dennis, this project has been a long time coming for the city of Brainerd. And after years of waiting, construction crews could start as soon as April 15th. Come from Quince up to, I think it's this point, yeah, about this point in here. Business owners along South 6th Street were full of questions for the construction manager as concerns of how the project will affect access into their businesses. I'm giving out my email address, I'm giving out my phone number, I'm introducing them to the people that will be on the ground there, and I'm saying, if you've got a problem, please get a hold of us. A construction manager who is no stranger to projects in the Brainerd Lakes area. I did 210 through Baxter. I did the Brainerd Bypass. But for his final project before retirement, the construction will begin at Highway 210 and head down South 6th Street to the intersection on Joseph Street. Sanitary sewer system is failing. The water system is failing. And so we have to get down there and, and replace that sort of stuff. But the changes come with a price for the city of Brainerd, in addition to the $5.7 million price tag. Is it going to be easy? No. But the real bottom line is we'll survive it and it won't have to be done for another 100 years. The construction will improve the road surface, pedestrian safety measures, and the city utilities. There will be a little pain involved while it's getting done, but after that, it'll be great. Now, construction is expected to be completed by October of 2018. And if you're still looking for more information about the project, there is a public open house on Tuesday, March 20th at Trinity Lutheran Church in Brainerd. Dennis? All right, thanks, Sarah, for that live report from our Brainerd Lake studio tonight. Detour routes will be discussed at the public open house, but access to all homes and businesses will be maintained during construction. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.